since I'm new to this club, do, do I have the option to talk about something else? Yes, yeah, absolutely. Then I want to talk about Arlington. I lived in Washington for about five years. I was absolutely enthralled with going to Washington. A lot of days off, I would go over there and walk through and see some of the grapes and see some of the some of the real heroes that have lived in this country. But the very first time I went to Washington and saw the Arlington Cemetery was in January of 1964. I was in high school. My family went up there, and we saw the original plot for John Kennedy. It's not the big plot that you see now. It was a small picket fence. It was kind of quiet, very, very simple. Not like the, what you thought of the man and the president and that war hero. You saw a very, very simple. There was the eternal flame, which historically did blow out one time by accident in a snowstorm. So it wasn't eternal, eternal, but we think of it that way. But thinking of it and seeing it for the first time, I was very touched by it. I was only a sophomore in high school, but it was, it was impressive. It meant a lot. And seeing the history of the Arlington, which was the family home of Robert E. Lee, if anybody knows, the government took control of it during the Civil War, and that was where some of the original Civil War dead were buried. And there's a lot of very, very astounding history associated with it. So anybody that does have the opportunity of seeing Washington, it's certainly worthwhile for that trip as a stroll through history. Thank you.